what you've done to these people! I've been waiting for for a long long time about three years to be exact and i've finally gotten my hands on it this is lost arc it's an mmo arpg from korean developers smilegate that's been released in korea since december 2018 and has found great success so much so that it started to create a buzz around the western part of the world so amazon game studios took it upon themselves lend a hand by publishing the game and help them get the game ported over with an expected release date of march 2022 which brings me to today here being able to bring you this preview of what you can expect after my 10 hours or so with the game. Let's get started. So there is a main storyline that you follow, one that seems quite in depth actually. You are trying to find the Lost Ark and set off on an adventure that will take you from place to place, town to town, in all manner of different locations which look great. One thing that surprised me is how cinematic it all is considering it's an MMO. Loads of cutscenes and dialogue that keeps you engaged and reminds you that these objectives you're completing have purpose and serve the story. I didn't get very far into the story because the time was limited and this is an MMO that has days of content that it would be impossible for me to consume in a few hours but it did give me a sense of scope for how big this game actually is and after doing some research on the full game as well there is a lot to look forward to narratively which is great what makes lost art special is that it's a full-fledged mmo with all of the systems and activities you might know from titles like world of warcraft guild wars final fantasy 14 like dungeons raids arena pvp pets and mounts all wrapped into an arpg structure like diablo or path of exile so there's plenty of things to do and systems to learn the early hours of the game do a great job showing you the ropes and does not bombard you with more information than you can handle which i appreciate because a lot of other games new player experiences are dreadful and lost arts has really nice pacing to it it is fair to say in those first few hours apart from the main quest a lot but not all of the side quests get very stale very fast loads of fetch quest and go here and kill 10 of this and then come back which is fine because these quest givers are right next to the main quest givers and the objectives are right next to the main quest objectives but just be wary that the side quests do not reinvent the wheel in any way this is typical mmo stuff but i still find myself doing all of the quests available to me not for the rewards or xp it was for the combat and how satisfying it is to use the abilities when I saw Lost Ark all those years ago, what hooked me was how much style and finesse the character's moves had and it did not disappoint at all when playing. There are five classes, warrior, martial artist, gunner, mage and assassin, each with subclasses that offer completely different play styles. Side note, this is one of the coolest class selects I've ever seen. When you start, they give you an option to try out all of the classes with all of the abilities unlocked to help you decide what you like. There's 15 subclasses currently and those play styles all have a different set of moves and boy, there are a lot of moves. It feels like you're playing the piano while in combat. I love it. Each class's subclass have an identity skill specific to them also. So for example, I was playing the gunner class with the dead eye playstyle and the identity skill allows you to swap between three different guns and yes, each gun has a whole new set of moves. I felt like Beethoven conducting a symphony while in these dungeons. And the craziest thing is that it doesn't even stop there. The combat goes so much deeper with the tripod system, which essentially gives you your individual skills three more options to modify it further. So this gets me super excited for all of the possibilities and they even balance these skills separately for PVE and PVP. I also done some research into late game builds and your gear will also have additional tripod effects as well. The builds are gonna be crazy. And then on top of that, there are runes to add more customization and cards to add additional character effects. All of this can be put into loadout so you can create different builds for any scenario. There is an incredible amount of depth here. That covers the extent of things that I can personally say about this game. But we all know with MMOs and ARPGs, the real game begins at max level. And I just wanted to quickly go over some of the things that you can expect to do in the end game once you hit the level cap of 50. Daily and weekly missions. These are like side quests perfected, multiple dungeons, and dungeon variants multiple 16 player raids and these are the real deal this is massive bosses encounters which have mechanics to complete them cinematic camera shifts the environment changes dps meters the whole lot life skills which are like professions so archaeology fishing herbalism 
in hunting, lumbering and mining, player housing so you can have your own little private island, world bosses, PvP and crafting. From the few hours I've played and from the footage and knowledge that's already out there from the Korean version, there is absolutely some magic here at Lost Ark and I'm really looking forward to it. It's really polished, the visuals are great, the combat is next level and I'm going to leave you with some gameplay from one of the first few dungeons. I wish I could say more about the game but once again I was time limited. If you're watching this on the day it's posted there is a closed beta going on until the 11th of November. Is that right? It is the 11th of November. So see if you can get in and give it a try if you're a fan of ARPGs. My name is Durani. Peace out and enjoy the gameplay. Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> 